Hey folks, Tim Humphrey here with Aspen Outfitters in Cass Lake, Minnesota. Stay tuned as we follow Jay Sandman as he makes a great shot on this beautiful Minnesota black bear, September 2012. Two. Like, quick. 
I got a good double lung. I, uh, nice pass through with uh, a set of uh, just their uh, three blade rages, so I would hope we got a nice hole. It sounded like he only ran about 100 yards, and that's the last we heard of it, so. Flexion, so it's all blown. You can see it all in the shaft. Looks good. And then he uh, straight up that way. He, he went in that direction. I, I didn't catch which. Uh, and he wasn't running the trail. He just went right over the top of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's right there, I guess. Let's see if uh, there's some wood. There's a trail here if it's actually coming down. Probably, I'm guessing, his hop for about 100 yards, or not quite 100 yards, and then that was it. Yeah, you can see where he ran from here. Yep, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 There's turned up stuff here too. Yeah, here, there's still blood here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think it's not Look right here. All the blood on the yeah, you can see the only three there, yeah. It's a good sign when they start cutting. I think that's all on the trail, too, though. You got blood, Finn? Okay. This is one tough bear. I don't see any lungs. What? I don't see if I see any lungs to you at all. It looks like liver blood to me. Oh, really? I don't know. It's kind of. It's not coagulated. I can see a bunch more up here. Are you back out or do you think he's dead? I don't know. He obviously ran this far for the most part. I mean, look at this. Right. Yeah. It's good blood. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, it's a good quantity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
It's spraying. Yeah, it's, it's, it's splattering on yeah, the yeah, tree speckles there. speckles all over there. Out there yeah. Some bears just have more stamina. Than that. That's what I'm hoping. I assume it's got to be the same one I saw yesterday. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's got he's got shorter legs though. Okay. You know he's got the yeah. you get that that longer body image with the yeah. little bit shorter legs. Nice bear, great coat. Yeah, it's nice pretty black. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Okay. Well, you tell me what you want me to do here. Gutter. I'll go find my way back and. Uh, Air trucks start rolling in on this road, and I'm like, what the heck? The wind was oh, thick out of the north, and uh, the landowner's barn was burning down. Well, uh, here with Jay, um, it is uh, September 2nd, second day of the hunt. Um, Jay sat on the stand site here last night, seen the same bear. Uh, the bear came in, didn't give him a, a decent shot. Um, came back in early this afternoon, got set up. A um, little bit better wind this evening, and uh, bear came in. If you kind of want to tell us what, uh, what happened, Jay. Yeah, it was a super deal. Came in, was around 5 o'clock, and uh, gave us a nice shot. Got a, a nice lung shot went 70 yards. Went oh, 70 yards, yep. Yeah, and a, uh, per perfect operation. Great. A wonderful hunt. Um, uh, if you, anybody's interested in hunting with Aspen Outfitters, uh, you can look on my website, www.aspen-outfitters.com, or you can send me an email at aspenguide at yahoo.com. Um, do a typical bait service, uh, provide two baits per hunter. Um, Kind of uh, gives the, the hunter the opportunity to choose where they want to hunt any given night. If one bait isn't uh, producing for them, they can go over and hunt on another bait. Um, I don't uh, put hunters on baits that have already been hunted, hunted by somebody else and uh, try to do my best to provide a quality Minnesota bear hunt. So, Thanks again. Awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Right. Great bear.